So I've got two mystery boxes from the company That Spider-Man Booth. They recently had a sale. Actually, it wasn't even recent. It was probably a month ago, at least. I've had these things for probably at least a month. Haven't opened them up yet, but we're going to do it today. So let's do this. Perfect. Perfect. So, I shouldn't say recently, but at least a month ago, maybe more, they had a promo code. These boxes are usually $30, and if you buy at least two or more, you get free shipping. But they had a promo code where you got $5 off each box. And so, this time, I just bought two of them. So, I got both of these for $25 shipped. So, both of these combined was $50 shipped. Mystery box from that Spider-Man booth full of comic books. The value on these things I've had in the past have always been tremendous value. I've never lost a dime on the, that Spider-Man booth mystery boxes. And I have hit a grail before I hit, I'm gonna draw a blank now. I hit a, what was it Daredevil number one? It was a fantastic hit. So ever since then, the other ones, I've always just gotten out some good solid hits every single time but no big like super grails or anything. But every single time that they sell mystery boxes, there's always like a main grail hit. It could be a Carnage, like number one. It could be a Wolverine, first parents of Wolverine, a Daredevil number one. Yeah, they've actually have put some very crazy comics into these boxes in the past. Some really good ones. So we'll just go one at a time. Let's see what I got, 25 bucks. I think there's like, what, five or six comics in each one of these? And pretty much you're gonna get out some good stuff. Okay, so let's do it from the back front so we can't see the front of them. And here is the first comic out of the two boxes. We got The Curse of Brimstone. The New Age of Heroes. I've never heard of this comic. It's rated teen. Okay, different. Next. We got a variant cover. It says it's worth $30. Uh, I do not know what comic this is. But it's like a girl with blue hair, a pig nose, and pig ears. Okay. Don't know what that one is. But usually whenever they put up like a price on this, it's usually it's pretty accurate. Next. Oh, that's cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe issue number one. It is a recover. This is valued at around $20 for this comic. So that's not bad. And this one's actually a thick one. What we get? The Amazing Spider-Man. Looks like it is a variant edition. The Amazing Spider-Man. It's a... A little bit different. Okay, that says it's worth about $15. And then here is the fifth one. Savage Avengers. Okay, that one looks kind of cool. That's, that's worth about 30 bucks. So we got the Punisher on there. Savage Avengers. It is variant edition issue number one. It says it's worth around $30. Of course, that $30... You know, that can fluctuate up, can fluctuate down. It might only sell on eBay for like 20, you know. So here's the final one, number six in this box. That's an older one. We got The Amazing Spider-Man number 212 from January of 1980. Spidey faces the wet threat of Hydro-Man. Let's see how much the thing's worth. I'm not too sure. Oh, that's actually, that's a decent one. Looks like this is actually the first appearance of Hydro Man in comic books. So that's awesome. So here is ungraded raw copies on eBay. I'm looking up right now. Looking at ungraded, $37, $22, uh, $49, 30 30 35 30 30, 
32, 35, 49, 49, 35, 36, uh, 34, 32. Looks like, honestly, it's worth around on eBay like $35 in ungraded condition. If it's been graded, though, that changes the value completely if it has been graded. So looking at if graded by CGC, here's a CGC 9.6 for 100, 9.4 for 86, 9.8 for 368. Of course, 9.8 is like absolutely mint condition. And yeah, this would not be a 9.8. has a few small blemishes on the cover. But I bet it probably graded probably about a... Maybe as high as a 9.0 just, just by going on the front cover. Then we got 8.5 for 38, 9.6, 138. Uh, let's see, trying to find something that's a little bit. Here's, here's a 9.2 for 70. So if this thing graded at even a 9.0, it'd probably be worth at least 60 bucks. But ungraded condition as it sits is about 35 bucks. So this comic paid for that entire box. So that's an awesome comic right there. Right now I'm looking on eBay for the Savage Avengers. One of these sold for $26. One sold, another one for $26. And there's actually, there's different covers. There's a cover with Wolverine and cover with Venom. The cover with Punisher looks like it sells for about $25. So it says it's worth $30, but it actually sells for about $25. So that's really good. Those first two comics sell for a total of $60. So these last ones here, this says it's worth $15, $20, and $30. You probably say this one's probably about $10. Maybe, you know, 25, 40. So you can say these last four comics are probably between 40 and 50 bucks. So with the first two 60, the last four, I can say this first box that I bought for $25 is actually worth probably around $100. That's actually really good. If I grade this and it grades at least like a 9.0, it'll be worth double that. So this box would then be worth like 130 to 150. So that first box is actually an absolutely fantastic box. So here we go with the second box. So we're not done yet. We do have one more to open up to see what kind of goodies we got in this one. Turn it upside down because usually like your best hit is your top comic is the best one out of the stack. And here's the first one, the very back one. What do we get? Oh, that cover's awesome. It's a... Uh, the cover has Black Panther, Wolverine, and Hulk on it. It changes whenever you you move it. It's like a uh, like kind of like a like a hologram cover. That's actually a really cool cover. I like that. That is. I don't even know what you really call this comic. A Marvel Legacy looks like Marvel Legacy number one sixty six variant edition. That one's really cool. Next. Oh, we actually got this one in the first box. The Turtles Universe reissue cover number one. So I got duplicates of that one in these two boxes. And here's the, this box only has, uh, it's only got five. Here we go with the third one. The Immortal Hulk number 19. It says it's worth about 10 bucks. Next. Oh, we got Silver Surfer. It looks like a variant edition worth about $30. Okay, that cover is actually a really, really cool cover on that one with the Silver Surfer. That one's neat. And here's the last one, number five. Oh, Captain America with a variant cover. That's actually a cool cover, too. It says worth about $35. So we can take pretty much this cover price. It's pretty accurate. If it says $35, it's worth probably between $25 and $30. So these two combined are probably about $50. Bucks. Then this one, honestly, is probably, probably about $5. So about $55. This one's probably about $15. So $70. So that is two $25 mystery boxes. The best hit that I got out, my personal opinion, was this one, which was the first appearance of Hydro Man. So that was actually a really cool one to get out. The, a first appearance one. This is probably what you kind of consider kind of like a smaller grail comic to have gotten out of that one. So all together, both boxes combined, I say are worth about $130 combined. 
and I got all these comics for only $50 shipped and received a Spider-Man first appearance of Hydro-Man. How cool is that? So check out that spidermanbooth.com if you want to buy some of these boxes. And yeah, I've always had good luck with these. And they're not that expensive. Normal price is only 30 bucks a box. And you get between five and six comics out. I mean, it, it's a good value. So anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm out. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.